A local lawmaker is asking the FCC to reject Charter Communications' petition to allow data caps on Spectrum's Internet customers. Charter is petitioning to be released two years early from conditions imposed on them by the FCC after Charter acquired Time Warner Cable and Bright House Networks. Kayla Green talked to a local leader and Spectrum customers about this possibility. A local spokesperson for Spectrum says the company isn't even considering imposing data caps and they have no plans to. But some customers say that they're skeptical to even give Spectrum the ability to charge more fees. It's just another control issue. You know? Greg Kimmins is a Spectrum customer. He says he can barely afford Spectrum right now and the possibility of more charges makes him nervous. As I'm looking at another major company, that is uh, looking at a loophole to try to get more money and try to squeeze something out of somebody. When the FCC approved Charter's merger in 2016, it included two conditions to ensure online video streaming could become more competitive. One of these is not being able to impose data caps. A spokesperson from Charter says they don't plan to actually implement the caps if the condition is lifted. They just want a level playing field and that no other internet provider has to follow these conditions. Monroe County Legislator Rachel Barnhart says if they can, they will. I think we should be very careful here because once the door is open, you better believe they're going to walk through it. That's their back thing and put in their pocket to be able to say, okay, well, we're not going to do this, but that's their intention all the way down the road. Barnhart says people pay enough for internet in our communities already. For people who already can't afford internet, the prospect of having to pay even more is, is just outrageous. In the pandemic, we have learned that the internet is so important for people who are working from home, for students who have to learn at home. We don't know how much longer this is going to continue. Barnhart encourages anyone who is opposed to allowing Spectrum to impose data caps to submit a comment on the FCC's website. She says you can do this until July 22nd. In Rochester, Kayla Green, News 8. Kayla, thank you. The earliest these conditions could expire is late May of 2021. We did reach out to the FCC. We just haven't heard back yet.